Every single day, 150,000 people die worldwide. That's 6,250 people every hour. By the time you finish watching this video, over 1,500 lives will have ended. But here's what will shock you. 75% of these deaths come from just five causes. And the most terrifying part, many of these deaths are completely preventable. Today I'm revealing what's really killing us in 2025 and more importantly, how you can dramatically reduce your risk. Welcome back to Health Science For All. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we're about to dive into life-saving information backed by the latest peer-reviewed research. Imagine if I told you that, right now, as you're watching this, invisible forces are at work in your body that will determine not just how long you live, but how you'll die. Sounds dark? It is. But knowledge is power, and today's video might just add years to your life. Here's the shocking truth. We live in an age of medical miracles. We can transplant hearts, edit genes, and cure diseases that killed millions just decades ago. Yet five disease categories are responsible for over 50 million deaths every single year. Think about that, 50 million. That's like losing the entire population of South Korea every single year. So what are these five horsemen of the modern apocalypse? Let me count them down and I guarantee number two will surprise you. Coming in at number five, dementia claiming 2.3 million lives annually. But here's what's truly terrifying. We're facing a dementia tsunami. Right now, 55 million people are living with dementia. By 2050, that number will triple to 152 million. Women, I need you to pay special attention here. You account for 68% of dementia deaths, not because you're more likely to get it, but because you live longer and may be more vulnerable to its progression. The economic bomb? $1.3 trillion annually, and it's doubling by 2030. But here's the hope. Research shows that 40% of dementia cases could be prevented or delayed. How? We'll get to that. Number four might shock you, mental health disorders. But wait, you're thinking, depression doesn't kill you directly. Wrong. Mental health disorders affect over 1 billion people globally and cause more than 2 million deaths annually when we include the 700,000 suicides. That's one person taking their own life every 40 seconds. Depression alone causes 56.3 million years lived with disability. Anxiety adds another 42.5 million. Together, they're the second highest cause of disability worldwide. Here's the tragedy. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in teenagers. Males die by suicide at twice the rate of females. And despite these numbers, mental health receives less than 2% of health budgets globally. This is a crisis hiding in plain sight. Depression and anxiety rates increased by over 16% between 2010 to 2021, and that was before the pandemic. Number three, cancer. 10 million deaths annually. One in five of us will face cancer in our lifetime. But brace yourself for this projection. Cancer cases will increase by 77% by 2050. We're heading toward 35 million new cases per year. That's not a typo, 35 million. Lung cancer remains the deadliest 1.8 million deaths annually. For women, breast cancer dominates at nearly 24% of all female cancers. Want to know the biggest preventable cause? Smoking. It's responsible for almost 30% of male cancer deaths. But here's something that might surprise you. For women, the leading cancer risk factor is unsafe sex, accounting for nearly 9% of cancer burden due to HPV and other infections. The inequality is staggering. Breast cancer survival rates hit 90% in rich countries but drop below 50% in poor nations. Same disease, different zip code, completely different outcome. Number two will blow your mind. When we group all respiratory diseases together, they cause over 18.5 million deaths annually. That makes them the second largest killer category. COVID-19 alone took 8.8 .8 million lives in 2021. Add COPD, pneumonia, tuberculosis, asthma, we're talking about a massive burden that's literally taking our breath away. But here's the shocking part. Air pollution, something we all breathe, is now the second leading risk factor for death globally. 8.1 million deaths annually. 99% of us are breathing air that exceeds WHO safety guidelines. Think you're safe indoors? Think again. The very air you're breathing right now could be slowly killing you. 
Climate change is making it worse. Extreme heat increases COPD deaths by 16%. By 2050, we're looking at 600 million COPD cases. And the number one killer responsible for one in three deaths worldwide, cardiovascular disease, 19 million deaths every single year. That's 52,000 people every single day dying from heart disease and stroke. Your heart beats 100,000 times a day, pumping life through your body. But for 19 million people this year, those beats will stop. Ischemic heart disease alone kills 9.1 million. Strokes take another 7.3 million. The primary culprit? High blood pressure, contributing to 11.3 million deaths globally. It's a silent killer because you can't feel it happening. Here's what's infuriating. Blood pressure control alone could prevent 10 million deaths annually. 10 million. Yet implementation remains totally inadequate. The economic impact? $1 trillion annually in healthcare costs and lost productivity. But here's what the research reveals that should give you hope. These five killers aren't independent actors. They're interconnected in ways that mean tackling one can help prevent others. Listen to this. Cardiovascular disease drives dementia risk. Air pollution affects both your lungs and your heart. Mental health influences all chronic disease outcomes. Physical inactivity, affecting 31% of adults, contributes to heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and mental health disorders simultaneously. This is actually good news. Why? Because it means the same interventions can protect you from multiple killers at once. One healthy change can create a cascade of protection. Here's what every pharmaceutical company doesn't want you to know. Many of these deaths are entirely preventable. The evidence is crystal clear. Blood pressure control could save 10 million lives, Air pollution reduction could save 8 million lives. Smoking cessation could prevent millions of cancer deaths. Mental health treatment could save 700,000 suicide victims. Cognitive risk factor modification could prevent 40% of dementia. We're not talking about expensive medications or complex procedures. We're talking about lifestyle changes that cost nothing but could add decades to your life. But here's the injustice that can make you angry. Where you live determines if you live. High-income countries reduced cardiovascular deaths by 15%, while low-income countries saw increases. Same disease, different resources, opposite outcomes. This isn't just about individual choices, it's about global health inequality. But you have more control than you think. So what can you do starting today to beat these five killers? The research points to clear, proven strategies. Controlling blood pressure, eliminating tobacco, reducing air pollution exposure, managing stress and mental health, staying physically active, optimizing your diet. And yes, even something as simple as proper oxygenation, your cells need oxygen to fight disease. These aren't just recommendations, they're your weapons against the five deadliest forces on Earth. Look, I know this information is heavy, but you now know what 99% of people don't, exactly what's most likely to kill you, and how to prevent it. Here at Health Science For All, we dive deep into each of these prevention strategies. We've got specific videos on balanced and healthy diet that slashes heart disease risk, breathing techniques and oxygen optimization for cellular health, exercise protocols that prevent multiple diseases, mental health strategies that actually work, and lifestyle modifications backed by peer-reviewed science. Don't let yourself become a statistic. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell because your life literally depends on this information. Check out our playlist on evidence-based prevention where we break down exactly how to implement these life-saving strategies. Share this video with someone you love, it might save their life. Remember, these five killers are responsible for 75% of all deaths, but many of these deaths are preventable. The power is in your hands. Stay informed, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video where we reveal the top lifestyle changes that can add 14 years to your life. This is Health Science For All, signing off. Your health is your wealth invest wisely.